Avalon Avenue, Prior Lake, Minnesota. Uh, the first item on the agenda would be roll call and introductions. So, uh, roll call, Commissioner Hentges? Here. Commissioner Hartman? Here. Commissioner Huber? Here. Commissioner Robbie? Here. Commissioner Johnson? Here. Commissioner Vonhoff? Here. And Commissioner Lee Watson? Here. Also in attendance, um, our planning manager, Brad Davis, our principal planner, Greg Wagner, our associate planner, Nathan Hall, deputy clerk to the board, Barb Simonson, and we have county commissioner, Tom Wolf, online. And that would be it. So uh, next item on the agenda is the approval of the June 14th, 2021 Board of Adjustment Minutes. I'll make that motion, Mr. Chair, to approve the minutes. Second. A motion by Commissioner Von Hoff, second by Commissioner Uber. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries 7-0. Next item on the agenda is a public hearing for Hentges variance PL number 2021-069. It's a request for variance from the required 100 foot setback to the center of the township street to 74 feet to construct an accessory building. It's located section 27, Sand Creek Township, and the current zoning is A1. And Greg Wagner will present. Uh, Mr. Chair, Commissioners, so on the screen is the site location map showing the subject property, as you indicated, at 20075 Danidoo Avenue, uh, Section uh, 27 of Sand Creek Township. So for locational purposes, on the north side of this property is County Road 10, um, and then on the uh, west side is Xanadu Avenue. Um, so as, as you indicated, um, the request tonight is a variance from the 100 foot uh, road setback to 74 feet to construct uh, an accessory building. Uh, I'll zoom in on the aerial photo. You can see the majority of the property is open agricultural land with the building site uh, on the far west side of the property. This is our uh, 2020 aerial photo. So what's being requested is this barn, uh, dairy barn structure uh, was removed and they're looking to replace it with another building, uh, 72 by 96. Um, I don't know how close I can get in here, but you can see the barn was damaged, the roof was uh, kind of caving in, so uh, they, they're proposing to remove it. Um, as indicated in the staff report, we have the existing home and another accessory building. This farmstead has been there for uh, quite some time. Uh, the farmhouse is about 48 feet from the center of the road, and the garage in between uh, is 58 feet from the center of the road. Uh, so the proposed structure, let's flip to the next page. Okay. So... Uh, this was the site drawing that they, the applicant provided. Uh, so it would show the 72 by 96 structure, and then to the center of the road is 74 feet. Um, this uh, site is currently continued to be used by the Tice family for, um, for their agricultural uses. Um, and they did meet with uh, Sand Creek Township in your packet tonight was the recommendation from the township. It's important because uh, Xanadu is a township road, so the setback of 100 feet to the center of the township road, um, we wanted them to obviously get support from the town board uh, for this request, and the town board did support the request. Um, so they recommended approval, but the justification that was in the staff report is mainly that the home and the other buildings um, are closer to the road, so this one would be the furthest building away from the road. Um, and it's essentially just replacing a structure that had previously been in this location. Um, so staff feels that there's no uh, major concern with having the, the building within the 100 foot setback. 
really, as noted, the, I think the historical uh, reason for the buildings being closer to the road is the topography of the site. Everything kind of slopes down towards the road. Um, so there's a lot of historical reasons why staff is supporting this request, um, replacing uh, in the same location uh, with a slightly smaller size. Um, as indicated, township recommended approval, and based on the criteria in the staff report, staff is also recommending approval of the request. That would stand for any questions. Any questions? Mr. Any questions Chair? By the board? Commissioner Hubert? Greg, as far as the setback, I mean, is about where the old building was? Yeah. And it extends further to the east? Yep. Uh, Mr. Chair, Commissioner Hubert, it's hard to see on this yeah. drawing, but I can kind of where the uh, pointer is, this is kind of the edge of the old building, so it's it's very much in line with what was there before. Maybe maybe a foot or two closer, but it's okay, very much you. in line. Mr. Chairman, if um, you're just replacing it, why is the variance even there? Um, when, I'm sorry, uh, yeah, Commissioner Johnson and, and Commissioners, um, so the, the barn was removed, and after a period of a certain, uh, after one year, um, so you can replace, if you tear down a building, you can replace within one year. After that, um, the non-conforming status goes away and you, you would have to apply for variance. Okay. Any other questions for the board? If not, uh, this is a public hearing. If somebody in the audience wishes to address this item, please step up to the podium and sign in your name and address and uh, seeing none I'll I make a motion to close the public hearing motion by Commissioner Robbie is there a second 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 by Commissioner Bonhoff to close the public hearing all those in favor say aye aye, aye. aye. opposed motion carries seven zero what are the wishes of the board Mr. Chair, based on the findings listed in the staff report, I recommend approval of the request of variance from the required 100 foot road uh, center line setback to 74 feet to construct the assessor uh, building and noting that the town board has recommended approval. I'll second. Motion by Commissioner Huber, second by Commissioner Johnson. <coughs> Is there any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries 7 0. General announcements, if there aren't any, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. Uh -huh. Motion by Commissioner Hensius, is there a second? Second. Uh, second by Commissioner Ravi to adjourn. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? This is the meeting of the Scott County Board of Adjustment has adjourned. Good evening. Call to order the Scott County Planning Advisory Commission meeting for Monday, August 9th, 2021. And we will start uh, with the uh, roll call and introductions. Uh, Commissioner Hentges? Here. Commissioner Hartman? Here. Commissioner Huber? Here. Commissioner Robbie? Here. Commissioner Johnson? Here. Commissioner Watson? Here. Commissioner Von Hoff? Here. Also in attendance this evening at the desk cross from me is our uh, uh, planning Manager Brad Davis, um, Greg Wagner, our principal planner, and Nathan Hall, our associate planner. At the table uh, over by the door there is Barb Simonson, Deputy Clerk to the Board. And I know that uh, Tom Wolf, our County Commissioner, is uh, with us electronically on the telephone as well, monitoring. Uh, I will now uh, go to the uh, approval of the July 12th, 2021 Scott County Planning Advisory Meeting uh, Minutes. Commissioners have all been sent a copy of the minutes. Are there any corrections, additions, or deletions to the minutes as printed? Hearing none, I'll look for a motion to approve the minutes for the July 12th meeting. So moved. A motion by Commissioner Huber. Do I have a second? I'll second. Second by Commissioner Hentges. Any discussion? Okay, I will, uh, we will do a voice, uh, voice uh, vote on this. All in favor, vote aye. 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 Opposed? The minutes are approved. Uh, our next item on the agenda this evening is our consent agenda. All items listed on the consent agenda are considered by the Planning Commission to be routine and will be enacted by one motion. There will be no separate discussion of these items unless a Planning Commission board member 
or a member of the public so request, in which event the item will be moved from the consent agenda to be considered separately. Uh, the first item, number 3-1, is a public hearing to the NAFLA uh, edition, number 2021-063, to request for approval of preliminary plat and final plat NAFLA edition consisting of two lots on 20 acres. The location is section 16, Newmarket Township, and the current uh, zoning is rural residential one. Would anyone like that removed from the consent agenda? Okay. The next item is a Gullickson plat. Uh, 2021-067, it's request for approval of preliminary plat and final plat of Burgess Estates consisting of two lots on 10 acres. This is location of section 27, Spring Lake Township, current zoning is rural residential two. Would anyone like that removed from the consent agenda? Okay. The third item on our consent agenda is the Ebert edition, 2021-068, to request for approval of preliminary plat and final plat of the Ebert edition consisting of two lots on 14 acres. Location is section 10, New Market Township. Current zoning is rural residential two. Would anyone like that removed? Okay. All three of these items uh, will be approved uh, with the approval of the consent agenda. But I have a motion to approve the uh, consent agenda this evening. I will be the consent agenda. I have a motion by Commissioner Watson. Do I have a second? Second. Second. By Commissioner Robbie. At this time, I will uh, call for a uh, uh, vote uh, by going through the commissioners. Commissioner Henches? Yes. Commissioner Hartman? Yes. Commissioner Huber? Yes. Commissioner Robbie? Yes. Commissioner Johnson? Yes. Commissioner Watson? Yes. Commissioner Von Hoff? Yes. <coughs> Consent agenda is approved. If you are here for one of those items this evening, that has been approved. Our next item is the Commissioner Workshop, and I'll go to Brad Davis for that. So the, our workshop will be held after our meeting, so if we got that in the wrong order, so we'll, we'll hold that workshop after we adjourn. But let me uh, do the manager's update. Okay. So Commissioner, since our last meeting, the board has acted on a lot of different requests that came before you for a recommendation. On July 13th, the county board approved the rezoning of 76 acres from rural residential reserve to the single family district. Uh, Chris Kubish was the applicant. Julie Milner was the property owner in Spring Lake Township. They also approved the interim use permit to operate a private day park as a farm camp on eight acres of land in Newmarket Township. David and Angela Gretz were the applicants. They approved the rezoning preliminary and final plat of Rice Estates, created two lots on 10 acres in Spring Lake Township. On July 20th, the board approved the rezoning preliminary and final plat of 4B estates. Uh, Robert and Lori Messenbrink were the applicants and property owners, creating three lots in Spring Lake Township. Last week, on August 3rd, the county board approved the preliminary plat of Wise Addition. Bruce Weiss, uh, applicant Donna Weiss, property owner, creating two lots in Spring Lake Township. They approved the preliminary and final plat of E and W Estates, second edition, creating two lots on 30 acres in Spring Lake Township. They, they approved the request for rezoning of 60 acres from Egg Preservation District to Egg Preservation Density District in Helena Township. And finally, they approved the request for rezoning of 40 acres from the Agricultural Preservation District to the Agricultural Density District. Wayne Weldon, applicant and property owner in Blakely Township. Um, also at that meeting, they approved the amendments to the Scott County Zoning Ordinance uh, related to bluff setbacks, uh, providing a little more clarity on the setback requirements for certain lots. And finally, um, last week on August 3rd, the board denied the minor amendment to the Scott County 2040 Comprehensive Plan for Freeges excavating. John Freeges is the applicant and property owner. So that's an update from the county board. Um, after this meeting, we have a workshop to look at some ordinance amendments that have been discussed over the past year, dealing with um, private motocross tracks, heliports, accessory dwelling units, screening for uh, community solar gardens, um, and the transfer and development rights. So we got a lot to talk about at our workshop, um, but I'll stand for any questions before we adjourn. Go ahead, sir. Sure. That, that Freegis, um, so it it even uh, it went 
forward anyway to the uh, board. Yeah, so that is the process. Even with your recommendation of denial, it still went to the board for final action. And so the board took up the matter. We offered the applicant to either continue with the request or withdraw. The applicant wanted to continue and get a, a board vote on it. And that happened last week with a 5 0 denial. Okay, 5 0 denial. And then was there, did, was there a presentation made as well? Uh, Commissioner Harmon, I believe I presented the request and provided an overview of all the input that we had during the public hearing process, the recommendations that came out of the town board and out of this commission. And um, that was it. The chair did not want to hear from the applicant or from anyone else uh, that wanted to speak on the, on the request. Um, just reflecting back on that, um, I don't know about the other board members, but I may have lucked out the day that I went there, it was a Sunday afternoon at 3.30, and the gate was open. My wife and I were able to drive in to the property and walk around and this and that, and which was an entirely different view than if you drove up and were out by the gate along the road. So um, I think it was unfortunate that... Um, Regis or someone should have set something up where everybody could have viewed what I saw. Mr. Chair, uh, Brad, did uh, the board take up the other uh, industrial park on the other side? So that or item is coming up. Commissioner Huber, that item is coming up. Okay. Next Tuesday, he will go to the board for action. Uh, staff continues to recommend approval of that industrial park plan. And we had a split decision here. Correct. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Any other questions? Okay. Uh, thank you very much. And, uh, uh, at this point, I uh, look for a motion to adjourn. I'll move to adjourn. Motion by Commissioner Johnson. Second. Second. By Commissioner Hartman. All in favor, vote aye. 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 We are adjourned, and we can start our uh, workshop whenever you're happy. Yeah, we'll